Hello and welcome to the next video. So looking at the scene now, it's starting to come along. However, I want to add some detail to this building. There's two real ways to do that. I can either use procedural modeling uh, using CGA, create a rule file and model it that way. And we'll talk about that later on. But for now, we're going to look at polygonal modeling. This is where you digitize the building uh, in 3D and then you can go on to texture up and try and make it look more realistic. So very quickly, we can just look at the building. Uh, we see we've got a block of flats here, three stories tall. Um, so this building is nine meters wide, 16 meters long, and then I believe nine meters up to here and 11 meters up to this point here. So we'll go ahead and try and do that in City Engine. Okay, so at the moment, I've got a building that was created using the rule file. So I can select that uh, and just delete it. I'm only deleting it from City Engine. Uh, and not from the data. So if something goes wrong, I can always get it back. The next stage is going to be, uh, I'll delete this over here, and I'm going to create a new uh, shape layer. And I'm going to call that polygonal buildings. Okay, once I've done that, making sure that's selected, I can go ahead and begin to model the building. Uh, and I'm just going to use this series of buttons up here. So we've got Shape creation, this is um, just like digitizing a polygon. Here we've got a rectangular one that forces you into a square or a rectangle. We've got a circular one. And then later I'll use these buttons to, to texture that building. So another thing to remember is once you've done your first click, you've got this little measurement uh, tool up here. So it's going to tell you how long that line is. So I'm looking for nine meters, but if I wanted to force it to be nine, uh, and I'm not holding down a button at the moment. I've just clicked once. I can press nine, press enter. And then this line is going to be nine meters long, no matter where I click. So what did I say? 16 meters. Okay. So once I've got my footprint down, uh, my 2D shape, as I hover over it, I'm going to get this little gold uh, ball appear in the center. And if I click on that, and hold it down, I'm able to lift uh, the shape up to make it 3D. And again, I can just press nine, press enter. And now I can let go and that building will be nine meters tall. Now we can just continue doing this and start to make the shape uh, more and more realistic. So the next stage is to cut a line down the middle uh, for that gable roof. So you'll notice as you move your mouse around, certain things start to happen. So I've got these globes on the end, so I can change the shape of these. And Control Z should always undo any changes you've made. As I bring, as I move to my mouse to the corners, it will snap to the corners. And if I bring it down the line, it is snapped to the line. And when I get to the center of the line, I should see a little cross as appears. Sometimes you can miss it, but there it was. So I'm going to click once. Uh, I can see it helps me keep a 90 degree angle as long as I stay on that center line. And when I get to the end, I can just click once again, snap to the end. And at this stage, I've got a choice, depending on the type of the roof, I can lift up either side uh, by clicking on these globes. Or if I hover down the middle, I can grab that globe and lift it up. And again, I know I'm roughly 11 meters tall, so I'm going to add another two meters. Press enter and I'm going to let go. And there we go. I've got a building that's roughly the right dimensions. And it's got a nice gable roof. Now, if I wanted to add any more detail to that building, I could go ahead and do it. We saw a few windows in there. I could start uh, playing with those, adding different shapes and things like that. However, I'm going to undo those. And if you watch in for the next video, I'm going to begin to try and texture this building up. Okay, thanks for listening. Stay tuned for future videos.